So what does BERT stand for in this um, algorithm that was just announced? BERT stands for bidirectional encoder representations transformers. What does that mean? That means it's a new method of pre-training language representations which obtain state-of-the-art results on a wide array of natural language processing, otherwise, otherwise known as LMP task. So what does that mean? BERT can help computers understand language more like humans do. That's basically it, okay? What the BERT algorithm is at the end of the day is helping computers understand how people really talk how people really type, okay? So that's the value of BERT. That's why BERT is extremely important. And today we'll go through how that works, and I'll also give you some examples of before and after. So why is this such a big deal, okay? So BERT is different in the fact that it has the ability to train language models based on the entire set of words in a sentence or query. So that's where the bidirectional comes from. Okay, traditionally, Google can understand queries just from a traditional left to right or a left to right and right to left sequence of words. And that's how it's deciding the importance. And that necessarily isn't always how people speak, okay, or type or communicate. And BERT is trying to understand how we naturally speak with each other. Now, the BERT allows the language model to learn from context based on the surrounding words, rather than just the word that's immediately before or after it. And this is big. It doesn't sound big maybe to some of you folks, but it's actually extremely big. So I'll give you a very, very, very basic example, okay? So why is this such a big deal? So here's two common phrases, okay? Nine to five, a quarter to five. Google traditionally has a very hard time with the meaning of that too. So you and I very easily know that when somebody says nine to five, that they mean 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for an eight hour period. And if a person says a quarter to five, that they mean 445. Now, not so, it's not so easy for the algorithms though. So that nine to five could mean, hey, am I comparing nine to a five? that a quarter to five, am I comparing a quarter to a five or is it a quarter of a five? Is it the difference between nine or five? So there's a lot of things that that could mean to the algorithm. So what Bert's helping do is understanding what that two is, um, putting that into context, that nine to five or that quarter to five. And there's a great post and I'm actually gonna use some examples from this post right on the blog um, right on the blog of Google from the vice president of search about understanding searches better than ever before. And they're really going into BERT. Okay. It's so actually somewhat interesting read, um, read in this, he gives some really great examples and starts talking through BERT and how that all works. So I'll start right here. And here's one of the examples that they give. So do estheticians stand a lot at work? Now, traditionally, you know, Google would look at that and really look at do estheticians stand a lot at work and their approach would be matching keywords. So matching the term stand by itself and the rest and the word stand in the query. So that's not really the right use of the term within context. So because of that, it gave back results as far as comparing different types of jobs in that skill set. Now, what they're really looking for, what BERT is allowing them to do is really understand the context of that stand, okay? So before it was just going, okay, different types of estheticians versus, you know, what's the physical demands. So by understanding the context of stand in that search query, they're able to give you a better search result. And obviously that's extremely important. You know, another great example that I really liked was, can you get medicine for someone at a pharmacy? Okay, so here's before. Here, here's before the release of the BERT algorithm, okay? So, you know, they're trying to better understand that for someone. And 
traditionally, when you're just looking at the query from left to right or right to left and looking at the order of the words, the for someone doesn't really have a lot of importance. The can you get the medicine has a lot of importance. The pharmacy has a lot of importance, but the someone does not. So now with um, putting BERT, the BERT algorithm into play, now it understands the context of that someone. So now it can get can you get medicine for someone pharmacy, and it now will shoot back the result, can a patient have a friend or family member pick up a prescription? Once again, now it's understanding the context, not just the order of the words. Another really good example is math practice books for adults. So traditionally, going off of keywords and queries and volume of those queries, that math practice books for adults what it came back and it been included in the category of young adult. So this would be the type of search result that you receive. Now with BERT, it understands that adult is being matched out of context in this. So, it's, so now it's improving the context of that adult where now they'll get a return of math for grownups. So just carrying along that theme, understanding how people really talk and the importance of words and it's not really about the order of the words, it's how they're being used. And then finally, featured snippets. Okay, and this is a really great example. Um, when a, somebody does a search for parking on a hill with no curb. Okay, now in the past, if you look at this before, all right, the word no isn't really given that much importance. Okay, those connecting type of words, those stop words, aren't really in traditional search algorithms. Going back to that two example, the search engines have a really tough time working with them. So parking on a hill with no curb, you know, they got parking on a hill, they got curb, but they don't have the no part, okay? They don't understand that context. They understand by order of the words at the beginning and the end, those are important words, but all the context within the middle, they don't really get. So they really focus on parking on a hill. Versus now, with the BERT algorithm in play, it understands that context. So now it gives back a result about parking on a hill that doesn't have a curb. So that's really the value of BERT. And those are just some brief examples of what, you know, how BERT works. So it's about understanding context of words and natural language, which is, act, which is really, really important and does give um, more important search results. And that's why this has been released to about 10% of all search queries in the U.S. are currently being impacted by BERT.